high-speed images were shot by an industrial robot called Spike. The robot has revolutionized the art of commercial photography. Everyone has always wanted to show high-speed images in motion, which was theoretically possible, but it couldn't be done with analog photography in the past. One reason was that cameras were too clunky and unwieldy. Spike allows us to finally show moving images in 3D, and thanks to the camera's compact design. This is an industrial center in the German city of Hamburg. It's where ad production agency, the Marmalade, keeps its robots. Spike weighs 550 kilos. You'll also find him in car plants, but here, his arm isn't used for welding. Instead, it holds a camera. Spike's software is maybe the most special thing about him. The computer program was designed specially by the Marmalade. In a car factory, only a few things matter. When a robot is used for welding, then you have to fit it out with welded points. One here, another there, or there. But what happens after that doesn't matter too much. But that's not the case when it comes to the camera. You really have to always operate it with pinpoint accuracy. Down the hall, the marmalade scientists are working on another innovation. They are polishing synthetic ice cubes for an ad shoot. They even make imitation food. Marmalade's clients include a lot of big food and beverage companies, like Pepsi, Nestle or Ferrero. The lab is where we make all the things that aren't in season, and we also make whatever can't withstand the hot film lights. Chocolate dissolves right away, cheese looks pretty sloppy after a couple of minutes, and sausages go limp. In the lab, we make synthetic versions of all of them. Today, there's a trial run for an ad shoot on the agenda. For the agency's clients, trial shoots are vital. One day of shooting here costs up to 60,000 euros. A hydraulic pump has been set up in the middle of a basin filled with food dye. It doesn't look anything like what you'll see on TV later on. Well, that's often the first thing clients ask. This is meant to be my product? Because it looks so abstract and hard to see among all the gadgets and objects. But then they look through the viewfinder and see a nice picture. The shoot has just kicked off, and now everyone on set has to steer clear of Spike. He's a pretty powerful player in the world of commercials. Christian Fritz is operating him. He has the final say on the film set. Setting up this shoot took two hours, and the filmmakers are only sure they've pulled it off when the picture flashes up on the screen. You're never really 100% satisfied. That goes without saying for people who do what we do. We're obsessed with details, with capturing that perfect, impossible moment, which never really happens. But people like the result anyway. And now clients from around the world are lining up to try out the Marmalade's latest invention. But the company isn't resting on its laurels. Day in, day out, the team here tests new gadgets and gizmos for the next generation of advertising. We always try to outdo ourselves, to come up with something more complex, create fantastic worlds we've never seen before that stun us. That's what's so fascinating about Spike. It's a flexible tool that adds a new dimension to high-speed photography. For the moment, the Marmalade is just producing commercials. But they might start making blockbusters soon, because Hollywood is already knocking on their door.